hey guys assalamu alaikum it's me talha in this quick video tutorial i'm going to show you how to create curved window in revit such as this one but before i get started i would like to let you know about my revit interior courses you can get them from my website learnrevitonline.com just follow the first link in the description now let's get started so here i'm in revit and as you can see i have already opened this project I actually created this shape using roof by extrusion you can see that now let's say we want to create a curved window here I actually did a similar tutorial long time ago it was about creating sloping and vertical window but we cannot use that met method to create the curved window so now I will show you how you can create such windows so we are going to be using model in place to do that let's go to architecture select model in place and here we can select windows click ok now we want to create the opening here first where we want to place the window so we can use void to create the opening let's go to level one and select void extrusion and draw a rectangle here now here just try to align that so we can uh, give the measurement now select this line and make it 5 feet now we can just move this line click finish and go to the south elevation and you can see we got the void here so we just need to take that through the extrusion to create the opening and we want this window to be let's say until here if you want to get a certain height for this you can use uh, you can just create a model line here to use as a reference so let's go to create select model line and pick a plane pick the face of this uh, void just hover over the edge hit tab key now let's say we want the height of this to be nine feet so just draw a nine feet line or maybe let's extend this a bit let's add one foot more and then just take that here now we can just uh, take this void until here it will snap that model line now we don't need these lines anymore and let's go to 3d so we got the void here we can now just cut this uh, from this roof so go here select cut geometry then select this roof and then this void there you go we got the opening here now to create the glass we need to go back to south elevation and go to create select extrusion now first let's set the work plane so click set actually the void extrusion is already selected so we can create on this face so just click ok and use pick lines and give a 4 inch offset here pick this curve and then this line now just hit escape a couple of times to get out uh, of this command now select this line and just drag that until here on this side we need to create a line like so now we can use pick lines again and this time we will give one inch offset which is going to be the thickness of this glass just pick all these lines and then we need to close on this side as well as here like so now let's click finish and go back to the top view or the level one okay it's not visible in level one so we can go to level two and here we have it just drag this until this opening perfect now 
uh, we got our glass here we only need to apply the glass material which we will do in a moment now to create the mullions uh, we can use sweep so go to create select sweep and then pick path just pick the edges of this uh, extrusion we'll change it to hidden line so we can see it clearly now here i think there is a small gap so let's use tr okay the the trim and extend is not working here so we can just use pick uh, this pick 3d edges again and just pick that edge here as well just orbit around pick that line so now our path is ready but here you can see it's a bit difficult to draw on this angled work plane so we can just drag that uh, here now go to level one and we can create the profile for the mullion so first let's click finish if you have a mullion profile already you can just load profile here or for now we can just create a basic uh, mullion profile so click edit profile and draw a rectangle let's select this one make it two and a half inch and here will be five inches now just select this rectangle use move and pick the mid of this and just place that in the center of this work plane now click finish finish again okay we are getting the error cannot create create sweep so we can fix this by removing one of these uh, edges which we have picked earlier so let's click pick path and i want to remove this one so let's select that delete now if i click finish it uh, it should create the sweep here so let's see there you go we got this mullion around here now here we can just create an extrusion and then just join that extrusion with this sweep uh, you will understand in a moment so to create the extrusion we can go to south elevation again and create extrusion and then draw a rectangle like so just make it uh, two and a half inch now click finish and go to level two and okay so we cannot see that extrusion in this view so we can just go to 3d here we have it just use this handle and just just join that here and here also we can just take that uh, until the face of this uh, sweep so we have finished creating the mullion as well as the glass now we can just assign the material parameters to both of these so first let's select the glass or this extrusion and then go here scroll down and just click on this button associate family parameter create a new parameter let's call it glass okay and then select this extrusion as well as this sweep and then click on this button again create a new parameter let's call it millions click ok and then finish model now if i select this window and go to edit type here we'll find both the parameters which we have just created so let's apply a material to this one we'll just type here aluminum because this material is already uh, created in this project so we can just type the name of uh, that material here also we'll just type glass because glass is also created now click apply okay and there you go we got this cool looking curve window here so that's how you can create the curve window in revit so that's it for this video i hope you have learned something new so please make sure to like and share this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already 
don't forget to turn on the post notifications and don't forget to check out my interior courses you can follow the first link in the description and yeah see you guys in the next video